Hi, I'm Tori, and today I'm going to be discussing The Grass is Always Greener Over the Septic Tank by Irma Bombeck. This book was published in 1972, and it is absolutely hilarious. It's basically the story of this woman and her family packing up and leaving the city to head to the suburbs. I've read one other Irma Bombeck book, and she is absolutely hilarious. I love her writing style. These books are sort of nonfiction. They're about her life and just putting a humorous spin on everyday events, and they're just so funny. So since this book was published in 1972, I'm assuming that means most of it takes place in kind of the late 60s. And that's really fascinating because the suburbs didn't really become a thing until after World War II. So when this whole book is happening, they were still brand new and developers would just buy a chunk of land and build a whole new suburb and everyone would go and pick out their house and have it built and they'd all look the same and have the same floor plans. And they'd just kind of spring up and there'd be all these communities of people who had just migrated out to the suburbs. And so this is so hilarious. Um, Irma writes this book as a tale of pioneers settling an unknown land. And it's just so funny. She makes fun of so many things about the suburbs, and the most hilarious part is that she does every single one of the things that she makes fun of. And it's just such a great style of humor because this is ridiculous, and she's pointing out that it's ridiculous, and she is absolutely participating in it and having a great time. The writing style is so funny, and all of the dialogue is just priceless. It's written so well and it just makes all of these everyday mundane things seem so ridiculous and they kind of are. It points out all the ridiculous little things and just how absurd like daily human life can be. And then the illustrations are great too. They're done by Judith Nilsson and there's just generally one at the beginning of each chapter and they're so great. The styles of all the clothing and everything was so late 60s early 70s. It's just all the hippie things and the feathered hair. I loved it so much and it just added so much to this kind of absurd chaos and it was just amazing. I loved all of the characters in this book. Irma's husband and children are just so over the top and all of her neighbors, all of the people she encounters, the kind of hive mind that takes over, just all of the things that these people end up doing, the way that their kids all run around and kind of move into each other's houses and everyone has the same floor plan and all the husbands do all the same things and all the wives do the same things and this entire situation just seems so funny. It's so great to see. Now we're pretty used to the idea of suburban life but when this book came out it was still a fairly new thing and so a lot of the things that we just take for granted still seemed pretty strange and pretty unique and like a very different way of doing things for people who were used to kind of living in either cities or small towns. And so it was really fun to just kind of get Irma's perspective on these new ways that people were living their lives. I had such a good time with this book. The dialogue was amazing. The whole thing was so funny and I would highly recommend it.